Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today it's another episode of Journey Wrestling. I know it might have been a while, but I'm doing another one. We're gonna book the first pay-per-view and see how it goes. Uh main event it's so booking if you haven't played the game. You just pick the wrestlers that are gonna be in the match here. Pick uh if there's any vacated titles you pick from that list and then it'll make it a title match. And then if you make it a specialty match, you can... I don't know why I have money in the bank ladder matches on TNA. I guess it gave me the ones from everywhere, so I don't I don't know. But I can pick one of these. So for the main event, uh, TNA Genesis, I w I'm going to want to crown a TNA World Heavyweight Champion. I want to... This is my top guy, pretty much, in the entire company. Is my TN Is my World Heavyweight Champion. If you're not that into wrestling, like some of us maybe. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I explained work rate and charisma and stuff, so if I'm making a match, I want you guys with really good work rate. Stone Cold's a heel? It's weird. So I want to I wanna kind of do... We could do... Uh, they only have money in the bank ladder. They don't... Oh no, they do have pure ladder match. So I think, yeah, ladder match is the main event for the, the heavyweight title, and we're going to put just some of our best workers in here. Stone Cold, CM Punk, Bret Hart, Daniel Bryan, Edge, Kurt Angle. So, yeah, let's do eight men. I'm thinking put in Adam Cole. And then Finn Balor is the other two. I know Kota Ibushi and AJ Styles are also great. So is Hangman. I don't know if that showed up on... I have Steam notifications on. I don't know if that showed up for y'all. I'll blow it, whatever. I'll edit and stuff, actually. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, they put in the main event. That's kind of cool. Do they have his American Nightmare outfit? They do not. So I'm going to have to manually do that, which sucks. But that's the only one I want to turn him face. So, TNA will have a face heel. If you don't know, it's just bad guy, good guy. The bad guys are heels, good guys are faces. It's it's pretty simple. So that match for the World Heavyweight Title uh, was well, something I like to do, but is not necessarily reflected in the game. Is I'm looking to pay for you, and I got a really good match. I want to put a really bad match. Or, not necessarily a bad match, but if I rank all the matches on the pay per view, I'm going to have best to worst. I want my worst match next to my best match. And my best match should be the main event. So the the little, little ninth segment here is going to be either a segment or my worst match. And... My worst match would have to be probably just a one-on-one, -on -one, no titles involved, between, like, two main eventers. So, probably, probably like, the Big Show. I don't think he's going to challenge for the title, and someone who's going to lose to Big Show. So, Big Show, Lex Luger. Because I, I want to push Big Show. I, I, think, I think he'd be good to have at the top of the card. I mean, I want to push everybody, but you can't push everybody. So people are gonna are gonna fall, and some people are not. Like I, I'm gonna have a, an amazing time pushing Bo Dallas to the very top, but it's gonna take a while. <laughs> like Zack Ryder, who is over, which is awesome. So it's not gonna take as long. But uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while for all these guys to make it, and some of them never will. But that's that's all right. That's a wrestling. Some people are just weirdly over. Like you'd expect. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think. Uh, Christian's a pretty over dude. Cody, right? With the Miz, but they're they're not over. But uh, um, you you know, everybody knows who Enzo Amore is or Sin Cara, and I mean, you might, and good for you. But most of you watching probably don't. But they're over. Most of you watch probably don't know like any of these guys down here. That's all right. You'll learn. Uh, next up. No, I gotta space out the title matches. I've got like 
full title matches. So I can do title match, two matches, title match, probably. So I look at who's not going to win a title. For example, I don't think Sting is going to win a belt tonight. It's kinda, yeah, it's, it's just not happening. And I put him in it. Do I want Sting to win or lose? Sting... If Luger's going to lose, Sting's probably also going to lose. And I look at who I want to get a win. And preferably heel to go up against the babyface Sting. So, Jay White. I would love Jay White to get a win. And he's not going to be X Division Champion. Knockouts Champions for the women. And he's not a part of a tag team. So, yeah. I'm thinking Jay White's next, next one. Let's do, let's do tag titles. I made factions. They didn't come together, but I made them off-screen. Uh, we got the Nexus. We got the Undisputed Era. UE is Adam Cole, Godric Strong, Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish. Adam Cole's the leader. That's why I use highlighted. Nexus, I ain't reading all these names. You can. Wade Barrett's the leader. That's why he's highlighted. Notable members are Heath Slater and David Otunga. That's probably who I'm going to push out of them, is those three. But to do so, you kind of have to push the whole faction. Anyway, uh, tag team match. We're, we're going to do Dragon, which is Kyler Island, Bobby Fish. It was basically just the Undisputed Era. This is getting booked. Uh, I do want FTR in there. I want the Young Bucks. And the New Day. I think, I think that's the, the four teams I want. Gimmick. Let's have it be uh, a street fight. I think that's good. If that's a ladder, this can be a street fight. There we go. Uh, another match. The overness thing, it... If there's a guy who's not over, and you want to try to get him over, best way to do it is promos and wins on pay-per-view. So, and promos are tough, because... Uh, anyway, less than three charisma, I can't ensure that a promo is going to go well. And not too many non-over dudes have three charisma. Like, The Miz does, which is nice. But, like... Please find someone not over. Holy hell. But, like, Keith Lee doesn't. Even though he probably should. And I want to get Keith Lee over. So, I'm going to have a match on pay-per-view. He's going to face... Did I not... Did I, do I just have Tully? Did I, get, did I not get Iron? I do have Iron. Why are they not the, the Brain Busters? I will fix that off screen. Uh, Keith Lee. Keith Lee's going to face. He can face Taz. He's going to face Andrade. Four work rate. Two work rate. Even that's like three and three. It'll be a solid match. Should be pretty good. Oh, Omas is over. That's wonderful. Next up. Where did Tyler Bate go? Yeah, who's Bate? Yeah, I got. I'm gonna have to put together quite a few tag teams off screen, but that's fine. Oh, Nick Aldis. All right, all right. I'm. I kind of don't really remember who I even have on the roster. Uh, so I'm just looking at who I would like to have wins. I'm thinking we go. I think we try to give Walter. Or at least if you know him as Gunther, that's fine too. I'm gonna keep his name Walter. No name changes should be happening. Walter's going to face... going to be a good... Let's, let's have Walter and Bobby Lou. That one should be minus five alignment. I'm sorry. Baby face. Heal. What's up with that? Uh, fine. Face Ricky Steamboat. There we go. Got the alignment boost there. Uh, next, let's, let's do women's title. Sasha Banks is the only main event that, that's a woman. So let's just take my four best women and put them in a match together. Sasha, Rhea, Io uh, no heels. I'm, I'm sorry, what are the heels? It's my top heel woman, Diana Pagaza. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I can do two and then a, and then another title match. I'm going to give Hangman Adam Page a win because he's not going to win the title. And we can have him face, face Cody Rhodes. And then let's have 
Let's have LA Knight get a win. And let's have him beat Al oh, Christian to face. There's only one more heel up there. So yeah, let's have LA Knight go against Zack Sabre Jr., who's neutral. I don't really like using neutral at all, but it's fine. He can go up against either faces or heels. I just don't get a, a bonus. And now for the final match, X Division title. Let's put on a Battle Royale. I'm just going to select pretty much everybody. We're doing a Battle Royale. I love Battle Royales. Miz, Johnny, Owen, Sheamus, Bam Bam, Bigelow, Alistair Black, Bobby Roode, Regal, Penta, Jinder. Actually, not Jinder, because two work great. It probably won't screw anything up, but he's not in the Battle Royale. Screw you. Wade will be. Eddie Kingston, Damian Priest. Mike Awesome. Oh, John Morrison doesn't get. Let's go with Lion Anderson, Ray Fenix, Pack, Omas. We got 25. Let's let's get an even 30. Get Dolph Ziggler in there. Get Tyler Bate in there. Get Elias in there, and then let's give it to to uh, like let's let's go Bo Dallas in there. Why not? Oh, I get one more and Zack Ryder. There we go, we booked all the main eventers. Because if you don't book main eventers, they'll get a large popularity loss and a large morale loss, both of which suck. And when we get into more nuanced aspects of the game, like if something comes up that I gotta explain, I'll explain it. We'll learn on the fly, it's fine. Play event, uh, and now I get to pick who wins each match. Here's who they think is gonna win, which is fun, and I, I do like comparing this to who actually wins and if someone in the comments wants to do that for me that would be very nice uh battle royal who do i want to be my first x division champion x division championship is like the mid card title uh, in tna you can use the mid card title and like cash it in kind of for a shot at the world title but then you're no longer mid card champion I want someone who's going to put on good matches with it and who's kind of a mid card. Like, I don't want AJ Styles to be the, the X Division champion, even though he's a great worker, I think. I think I, I would like starting it on a heel. Just because that's, that's more convincing storylines and stuff. I... I, championships are better on heels. Faces are better with the chase. I know that isn't reflected in this game, but that's fine. I'm giving it to Guevara. He, he, four work rate. He's over. I, the three charisma's nice. He, he'll be able to do a couple feuds. Doesn't matter if he doesn't have like a year-long reign. He's a good starting title holder. I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, five and a half star match. So each match, it'll give you a star rating. See how good the match was. Uh, they do battle royals like Royal Rumbles for some reason. Uh, AJ Styles and Sammy Guevara were the final two. And they put on a hot match, which boosts their overness, which is what I hoped would happen, which is why I threw in guys like Bo and, and Zack and Bate that I need to get over. Uh, HS moments, I'll call them. Uh, they, when something crazy happens... You say, holy shit, I, that's that's what it is. Gives you an overness boost, and it gives me some money. So, Guevara reversed Omas's finisher, cursed at him, and hit his own. If you guys know who Sammy Guevara and Omas are, this is funny. Because there's no way Guevara can lift Omas. That's not happening. Uh, LA Knight is going to beat Zack Sabre Jr. He gets big popularity boost. Morale, overness, the opposite for Sabre. That's alright. You gotta have people who can lose. Hangman beats Cody. Being the same, same type of thing. So Cody didn't lose overness, which is always good. Stop. Knockouts title. I'm I'm given. The title's gonna start on Sasha Banks. So it was really, there was no other way for me to do this. Uh, pretty good match, I would say. Uh, anything under four stars is, is a pretty bad one, probably. Uh, still no no updates there. Sasha Banks is knockouts champion. Gonna uh, 
Walter beats Ricky Steamboat. Hey, five star, and they put on a hot match, which boosts both of their overness and popularity, which is amazing, always. Keith Lee beats Andrade. Keith Lee gets overness. That's good. Oh, Andrade is no longer over, which sucks. Overness gives you an extra star in, in here, so he's just going to be three and two now. It's pretty easy to get him back over, though. He just needs a, a win or two. Uh, next up, Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match. Who's going to be my tag team champions? I started him on FTR in a Journey Wrestling save I did off-camera. And had FTR hold titles, hold the tag belts for a while, and it did really well. I kind of want to replicate that here. So yeah, FDI wins. Oh, five plus stars. That's that's amazing. And a hot match, so everybody gets boosts. Nice. Sting versus Jay White. Jay White wins. No updates. Big Show beats Lex Luger. And the main event. Eight-way ladder match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Who do I want to be my inaugural World Heavyweight Champion? I think the only answer here is Stone Cold. I have a lot of top baby faces, so I can have them hold it for a long time. I have a lot of feuds. It, it's gotta be Stone Cold. And we got the hot match with it. It's 6.75 stars. That's the best match I've ever gotten in this game. But, like, look at these dudes. You can't expect anything else. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I think that's the best I could have hoped. After the pay-per-view, you get some things happen. Overness increased, which is nice. Event prestige increased for TNA Genesis. Uh, new, you get a you get a news article after and the ratings. Uh, we were very low, second to last in the ratings, but I knew that would happen when I chose TNA. Uh, and it gives you a couple couple news stories here. I'm not probably ever gonna read them. What matters? New competitor, interesting, but probably won't matter because they 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 probably won't be that good. After pay per views, you can get talent requests. Eddie Kingston wants to feud with Kurt Angle. I can do that. If you say yes, it gives you like a, a boost. It gives a, the talent a boost to morale. If you say no, it decreases it. You want to do them, but sometimes you can't. Faction together event. It's just something that happened that boosted the Nexus, which is nice. Got a gold award because I completed one of the goals. They're notifying me that a new competitor is formed. And... Luke Brown is able to sign. I won't be signing him. Yeah, that's... That's the first pay-per-view for my journey of wrestling game. And... It doesn't... It's not... I wouldn't call it my game. I'm gonna call it our game. Because if you guys say stuff in the comments, like, Hey, I think... You know, I think... Kota Ibushi would make a great world champion. I'll be like, okay, they want to see Kota Ibushi win the title. With you guys watching, you can book it like an actual federation and just listen to the fans. So just tell me who you guys want to see pushed, who you guys want to see more of, who you guys want to see win, who you guys want to see feud, and all of that. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.